Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel and inside of today's video We're playing some ranked finally. I know it's been a little while But of course on the second channel I only really post when I enjoy it and this last week has just been I don't know, really demotivating trying to play ranked trying to put on a happy face like I, I don't know sometimes I kind of enjoy it, but then there's already so much so much like Doug and Hank I can take on stream Again, like it, it's fun when you beat good players with those brawlers, but in my eyes, it's not fun just walk, walking all over noobs. And yeah, if I wanted to do that, I should be playing ladder, not rank. I, I don't know. I feel like I'm a stuck record at this point. I've been talking about it for months, but I guess I got just got to try and find a different way to make fun, have fun with this game. So let's try it. So Fang, Juju, Stu, what on earth even is that composition? So the, the avenue I wanted to take on this. Um, video in particular if I was actually yeah, I would go search if I had brain cells but I don't have brain cells and we're gonna go with Gus here I'm gonna go with this build uh, but yeah I want to just play Gus just because my talking point but I wanted but I wanted to make this video a few days ago is just I just think Gus is so much better than people realize and you probably realize now because if you watch my tier list I don't want to spoil it so if you haven't watched it go watch it but yeah, I put Gus in the S tier, and I think he's a top 5 brawler in the game. I'm, I'm going to go off on a limb there. I mean, I don't even think that's that unpopular of opinion right now. People are starting to see that he's a top 10 brawler, but top 5 even. I just find him so easy and good to use in this meta. Uh, like, look at this. I've just basically free tapped that Stu with absolute ease. His main attack is just so easy to hit. I'm, I just... I love Gus. I've always really liked playing Gus, but I just find him... Even more impressive in this meta, like 6.4k HP as a sniper is just so good to have. And then you've of course you've got the damage boost um, star power on top of this. You've just got the facts as well, your super gives you so much HP. He just turns into a damage dealer low key. Like a lot of times with Gus I end up having the most damage in the lobby. Which goes to show just how good he is considering he's a support brawler right? Oh look at, look at Juju, she jukes a few shots. Oh, I think we're good here. Uh, okay, he has got that gadget, so we've got to be aware. But he doesn't know that I've got the vision gear on. Bro does not know right now. And again, we can just keep tabs on this Fang. This dude, probably going to go backwards here. Okay, Fang is there. Just one more shot, he is dead. Another shot on that Stu, he is dead. And yeah, this is pretty much GG at this point. So yeah. Gus is just absolutely, I don't know, I can't really say broken, but I'm just walking all over these guys. <laughs> I just don't understand him. I actually don't. How, how has he just all of a sudden became this good? I always had faith in Gus, but I didn't really think the damage buff would have ever made him like top of the meta again, right? I thought it could have made him like an 80 brawler, but, but like the point that he's at right now is scary. It really is scary. Alright, I've, I've waffled enough about Gus right now. I, I just, again, I'm trying to think of maybe fun things I can do. Maybe you guys want to see some free-to-play content. Maybe you just want me to go like underrated brawlers, or overrated brawlers. Just test out certain things. I don't know, wacky things. I think the underrated videos tend to do well a lot of the time. Because, of course, everyone knows by now the meta brawlers, right? It's already been a couple of weeks. The hype chargers that came out, etc. I don't know, maybe you still want to see some of the hype charges I haven't covered yet. It's up to let me know, okay? I'm, I'm easy, I'm easy going. I just want to do what the people want to see, you know? Of course, Fang Mid, this is exactly why I don't play ranked. Because they're playing Fang Mid. Fang Mid. Fang Mid. This is the new gen players for you. Fang Mid, and watch us lose to it as... Bro... Come on, come on, he's... Fang mid's a new meta, apparently. What am I witnessing? Okay, my teammates are going crazy right now. Um, okay, the gems are on the right. You got me right now? You got me right now? I'm going to knock him back, because that's what bad Gus does, apparently. And we're actually going to lose to a Fang mid. I hope I can kind of sneak around here. This is too that bro. Stu's actually half decent. But their fang isn't that good, but he's getting away with it. Okay. Maybe. Yeah, I can steal that. No, not right now. Please don't hit me. I'm 
focus right now, Grigri. Do not hit me with a slow. Okay, I mean, Juju is quite vulnerable now without her super. Ah, oh, please, don't get that. Okay. Nice. Okay. No. Please. Oh, he got slow. Oh! What, what, what's happening right now? Yes, Max. Tank it, tank it, tank it. I've still got three of my gadgets left. Actually, the one-time spirit slap works. I, I'm as mind blown as them probably right now. Okay, hi Fang, bye Fang. Oh, I think this is GG's, right? This is GG's. Okay, uh, Gene, Spirit Slap is underrated. Maybe I need to make a video on that. But uh, okay, the second round got a little bit chaotic. I didn't really do the most, but uh, like, look at this. I have as much damage as both my teammates combined. I'm hardly even trying. I'm just walking up the map. And yeah, I mean, this is top 100 masters level right here. So that's going to be the first game. Let's jump into another one. Guys, jumping into the second game then. So we've got Pinball Dreams. I'm hoping even as the last pick, I can probably get Gus here. I mean, Gus is good everywhere. I can play Gus and Grass. I can play him literally in every single place I want to play him because he's seriously that good. Knockout and Bounty as well. Like, he's one of the best for sure. Like, I'm seeing all the time Gus is a beating Pipers, Nannies, Angelos down the lane because of how good he is. So, Cordelius... I don't know, a bit early on in the draft, but I rate it. Okay, I rate it. No, 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 don't go spike. No, we're not going first pick spike. We're not going back to this, right? Like, I know I put spike in the B tier, I think, on my tier list. Probably overrated him a little bit, but, but we're, we're not going back to this. Okay, we're not going back to just spamming spike with Kerbal. I've had such a good time in my life without spike and bow. Do you remember when people used to spam that? For whatever reason, even though the level of ranked is so much worse than Power League, at least I haven't been cursed with Spike and Bow 24-7 like before. But okay, I mean, I take it. He's gone a lane brawler. We've gone two tank counters. This is actually perfect again to go Gus. So I'm going to go plus one because you just need that with Gus. I don't know whether to go shield or health or damage. It's pretty tough with uh, Gus. I don't think I need vision gear because I pretty much know where they are all the time on this map. Uh, I might go with... Oh, let's see what... They, okay, Larry. I've got to go with Shield this time. Uh, okay, so Larry's really good into two of us. We're, I'm kind of hoping the Cordelius follows the Larry around the map. That's what matchup should happen. And then, you know, if Spike's on Surge or Stu, that's a good matchup. Especially Spike with the recent HP buff. Is he, if he's using... If he, is he using the Shield gear? Okay, he's using Shield gear. It's not the worst matchup in the world, right? Before the old spike, before the two health buffs, would get absolutely deleted by um, the Larry. So, yeah, let's hopefully just keep the pressure on the Larry and we should be good to go in all honesty. There's already one kill on the stew. And we're going to pick up this for extra bit of healing here. Okay, this is just getting collapsed by the surge, which is what we don't want. So I'm going to have to try and take all lanes here. So let's pop a gadget onto this. Larry going to make him really weak. Stu's going to die. Larry's going to die. Just a surge left. Even with that broken gadget, we're going to be able to score here. Could it have set the ball? I thought he wasn't going to take the ball there. Okay, so already one shot away from super. We can just be super aggressive here because we've got the shield. And yeah, we're going to give this to Cordelius. I normally like to use my shield a little bit later, by the way, but because we're playing with randoms, you kind of got to use it a bit early, you know? You can't trust a random. Come on, please. Oh, bro, how am I missing that shot every time? Oh, that's a double hit. That is tasty. You know what? Okay, I was just about to use that super on the Cordy to send. That would have been really good synergy if I used it and then he popped super. Yeah, I was about to say, it's definitely going to be a Larry close trying to do something i'm aware of that bro i've been in the game too long i've been playing this stupid game for seven years yeah i'm familiar with all the tricks right now so again let's just put this on the cordelius again he's been more aggressive considering i've always got my shield he should probably start himself in a much more aggressive position but it doesn't even matter because we're going to score right here a boy is gus just so good i think i need to play gus more myself at this point in time because again, aggros aren't even worried right now. The main reason being is because the lanes that are meta right now are just so heavy and, and damage that a lot of times you don't even like 
need to think, oh, I need to go a damage brawler here because more than likely your teammates would have just picked a damage brawler. So, yeah, that's why the biggest counters to us have always been uh, assassins or anything like that. But now he probably has the damage to keep up with them, to be honest. Let's just, let's just say that. So, I think I have scored here. Nice. I mean... Probably got a bit too close there. Could have probably scored that bit earlier. Doesn't even matter. I mean, I'm just destroying them. Like, this isn't even close. Considering I don't really have amazing matches. We're literally facing off against Larry. And we're making it work. We are making it work. So, yeah, good kill from Cordelius there. We should be able to kill the Stu. We should be able to kill the Larry as well. Okay, let's just heal up. Wait for our shield to regen a little bit here. And then we can work our way to a team wipe and get the dub. So here we go, Cordelia's going to go in, perfect time shield, Stu's only the last line of defense, and that's going to be another quick win, so that's what you absolutely love to see, but this is how most of my ranked games go at the moment, like I'm not even being big headed, and I've got gigantic head, but this is just seriously how it goes when I go a meta brawler, it's just not even close a lot of the time, I do gain 100 elo there, which is actually pretty tasty, maybe I need to give ranked a little bit more of a try, so we end nearly in the top 50 here if we get to 10k elo within the next video we can literally be in the top 20 which is kind of crazy so yeah that's gonna be it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed this don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time